Tano Sports Central will be going over a college football game preview and prediction over one of the big matchups coming up in week nine of this 2020 season. And that's going to be between Michigan and Michigan State. And this is always a fun matchup between both of these teams. We've seen a lot of great matchups between these teams in past years. And that's why we're mainly previewing this game here today between Michigan and Michigan State. It's also going to be one of your bigger Big Ten matchups coming up this week. Considering Michigan got it to a great start last week against Minnesota. They're looking really good right now and quite possibly a top three team in the Big Ten right there. And then you got Michigan State on the other side had a terrible start against Rutgers last week. And they're hoping to turn that around once again in this big game against Michigan. We're going to be going over a full game preview and prediction on this one starting out with their team trends. And last week Michigan beat Minnesota 49-24 was the final score there. Minnesota hung around. For the first half but after that it was pretty much all michigan uh wolverine's got a huge win there against minnesota which let me remind you minnesota's got tanner morgan back they've got all around a great team back this season in minnesota for them to lose by over 20 or by 25 to michigan was a really big shocker but michigan just i mean you got to give credit to michigan there they played really well in that game as for michigan state they lost to rutgers 27 to 38 absolutely horrible game played by michigan state I don't even think the Spartans led in that game. Uh, I think Rutgers from the start got off to a really, uh, really quick start, and they played really well from there on out. But, yeah, Rutgers ended up getting the win, win there by 11. As for your streaks for both these teams, Michigan is the 13th-ranked team in the nation, 1-0, and they've got a one-game winning streak. Meanwhile, for Michigan State, they're 0-1, obviously, with a one-game losing streak. This game's going to be on Saturday, October 31st, at noon Eastern in Ann Arbor, so Michigan will be your home team for this matchup, which definitely is not going to be very beneficial to the Spartans considering uh, they actually lost to Rutgers at home last week. That was one of their home games um, in the way that they lost to Rutgers. So that's definitely going to be a big concern for Michigan State as well. The spread currently says Michigan by 26 and a half. The spread is extremely heavy on the Michigan side right now, which is actually a pretty big surprise. I think it definitely uh, is going to be, it could be a one-sided affair, but I don't think a 26-point spread is kind of necessary here. I think it's going to be a little more close than that. But yeah, the SPN FBI, Michigan is 93% in the FBI right now. And once again, this is still being recorded pretty early on in the week, so we could uh, see these things vary as the week goes on. But the Vegas prediction also has Michigan 48-21 to 21 in a blowout win. So all three of our soldiers here have got Michigan in a high-scoring but an easy win. Here's just a comparison as well, and obviously both teams have only played one game so far, so these will be a tad inaccurate right now, but Michigan does have 49 points per game, 24 points allowed. As for pass yards last week, they had 225 pass yards, um, which is a pretty good stat, but if you look on the flip side, they had 253 rushing yards, and Michigan is usually not much of a team that's known for rushing, but they had a great game uh, last week as far as rushing goes. Once again, 253 rush yards is what they had against Minnesota, which all around is a great stat moving forward as for yards allowed they had 197 pass yards and 129 rush yards allowed last week for michigan state they had 27 points 38 points allowed 319 pass yards a game so obviously that's from last week and rocky lombardi had a pretty good uh, i would say a pretty good debut for michigan state being a starter because it's very likely he's going to be the main starter for michigan state at quarterback this season but yeah rocky lombardi obviously has some decent shoes to fill considering brian lewerke last season uh, was their quarterback and Lewerke he wasn't a great quarterback he was definitely not a Heisman contending quarterback but still I mean he he put up some good yards and he got the job done for Michigan State so for Rocky Lombardi to come into this situation uh, he's got some decent shoes to fill and I think having 319 pass yards last week is a great step thing is though he did have two interceptions that's his problem here you can't be throwing interceptions if you're wanting to win the game so yeah Rocky Lombardi is definitely going to have to cut down on that especially moving forward because I mean, Rutgers is a team that is absolutely horrible on defense. They've got easily probably the worst defense in all of the Power Five. And for you to throw two picks and allow Rutgers to uh, get two interceptions on you is definitely concerning. So, yeah, Lombardi's definitely going to have to improve on the accuracy side as well as uh, not throwing interceptions because that's the only way that you're going to win in this situation. It just blows all the momentum out of swing when you throw uh, picks like he does. 50 rush yards a game as well as what they had last week. They had 50 yards on the rushing side. So they were mainly a passing team last week. As for yards allowed, they allowed 170 pass yards, then 106 rush yards. Here's some key points as well. Michigan had a significant win last week against Minnesota. That's pretty clear. Obviously, they had a 25-point win all around. Just a great win for Michigan. I mean, and once again, considering how good Minnesota was last year, 
they were easily one of the big surprise teams in the nation, and they were a top 15 team uh, for the majority of the season. And, I mean, if you look at the end of the season, they actually beat Auburn at the end, which was a great win for Minnesota. Uh, one of the best wins or one of the best seasons that Minnesota's had in a very long time. And so for Minnesota coming into this season, I expected them to be or I'm expecting them to be just as good this year as they were last year. I mean, you got Tanner Morgan back at quarterback. This offense in general is looking like one of the best in the Big Ten and the defense could easily improve. However, it just did not look that way against Michigan. And once again, you got to give credit to Michigan. Michigan played a great game there. And I think that's going to be very beneficial uh, to Michigan moving forward, having a big win against the Golden Gophers there. Michigan State, once again, I mean, if it wasn't clear enough, they had a terrible start last week against Rutgers. I mean, it doesn't get much worse than that, losing to Rutgers by 11 in your first game of the season. So Michigan State, this is an extremely important game for them and a very crucial game for them is because, I mean, once again, uh, you do not want to start off the season 0-2 with a loss to Rutgers and then a loss to Michigan. That's just not a way that you want to start your season. And so that's why it's going to be such a crucial game for Michigan State to win is because if you're even wanting to have a winning season or if you're wanting to have a good bowl season, yeah, Michigan State's going to really need to pick up the pace and they're going to need to have a big win here against the Wolverines if they want to get even close to that. Uh, but once again, that's also a big reason. I mean, it's going to be very crucial for Michigan as well, considering they're coming off of a big win against Minnesota. You cannot sleep on Michigan State here. I mean, the Spartans easily, we've seen some big, crazy games in this rivalry in the past few years. And so really anything can happen. Who knows? Uh, and once again, I mean, this college football season is evident enough that it is just so unexpected right now. Like anything can happen. So for Michigan, they got to go into this game thinking that they're playing Ohio State and they've got to get a good win and they got to start off fast as well to just to shut down Michigan State early. But here's what I'm expecting here. I've got Michigan winning this game uh, by three touchdowns. I think your halftime score is going to be 24 to 10. Michigan State will hang around in the first half. I think we see Michigan get a couple of touchdowns um, within the first uh, seven or eight minutes or so of this game but I do think Michigan State hangs around throughout the first half and then I think in the final Michigan pulls away they get a big win 45 to 24 that's gonna be your final score and honestly I could easily see Michigan scoring 50 on Michigan State in this matchup the reason why I did not put 50 up for Michigan is because it's just it's just really weird predicting 50 points for a team so I'm not going to do that here in this video but yeah 45 to 24 uh, that's going to be my final score prediction. But I do think Michigan could definitely put up 50 points in this game considering they nearly put up 50 against Minnesota last week. So, And considering they're, they're going to be playing a much worse defense this week in Michigan State, that is something that you do have to consider as well. But Michigan State, I've got them putting up 24 on the Wolverines here in this matchup. That being said, that wraps up my preview on this game. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this one, your score predictions all of that once again thanks again for watching though if you enjoyed this preview slap a like on it subscribe as well if you are not already yet really helps out the channel and i really appreciate that but as always thanks again for watching stay tuned for more from all sports central and i will see you all later